One of the greatest treasure hunts in financial history has been unfolding on two continents for five years. The quest began in Almaty after the Kazakh government took over BTA Bank in February 2009. Regulators suspected that Mukhtar Abliazov, its chairman since 2005, had shifted at least six billion dollars out of the bank into shell companies he secretly controlled. BTA called on British financial crime consultant John Howell to develop a strategy to recover the six billion dollars. The first thing we had to deal with was the lack of data. The problem was that a lot of the records of the bank had disappeared with the former management of the bank. So our first task was to reconstruct the books of the bank and establish what was there and what wasn't. The hunt moved to London's High Court in August 2009 when BTA filed 11 lawsuits accusing Abliazov of fraud. Prosecutors in Russia, Ukraine and Kazakhstan also charged him. Abliazov, a longtime critic of Kazakhstan President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, denied the allegations. His lawyers say he is being persecuted. He clearly did not embezzle $6 billion. It's a, it's a, it's a fantasy to suggest that he would have embezzled $6 billion. This is all a political uh, settling of scores that, uh, that is directed by the president of Kazakhstan, the dictator uh, Nazarbayev, who's been in power since the 90s. In February 2011, BTA's investigators hit pay dirt. They tailed Abliazov's brother-in-law to a self-storage center in North London. Inside, BTA lawyer Chris Hardman discovered a spreadsheet. It listed hundreds of shell companies, which he says were used to take much of the bank's money. The next year, a high court judge sentenced Abliazov to 22 months in prison after ruling he'd unlawfully concealed his assets. But Abliazov fled the UK and was captured in the French Riviera last July. Now, a French court in Aix-en-Provence is weighing whether to extradite Abliazov to Russia or Ukraine to stand trial for fraud. Abliazov's lawyers fear either country will send him back to Kazakhstan. Anything could happen if he goes to Kazakhstan. If he goes to Kazakhstan, he will be tortured, he will be held in inhumane conditions, and the fault will be on the, uh, on the hands of, uh, of the French judges. Meanwhile, BTA's lawyers hope the threat of prison in the East will prompt Abliazov to cooperate. What the bank wants is him to answer justice, would it be in England, as he did before, before going away, or in Ukraine, or in Russia. The bank doesn't want him to go to Ukraine. They just want him to give answers and to explain where is the money. Until it's recovered, the hunt goes on.